Hi, this is Dr. Otto Jenkins. Thank you for being with us today on the Empire Longevity membership site. This goes out specifically to our, our membership, not to the public whatsoever. Uh, and each week we're going to bring you, uh, it might be by audio, it might be by written, it might be by video like this, insights that we have for you about reaching your longevity. Sometimes it's going to be a, a special interview, might be a so special insight into books or uh, some of the um, uh, techniques we have, or some of the things that we have bought along the way to help us to reach that, some of the tech. But today we're going to start off with what we call doing longevity, doing longevity. So what the problem is we have found often, if I was going to ask you, or you come to me, you come to me and you say, listen, I want to get healthier. I've been unhealthy for years or decades, and I want to get healthier. And I'm, I'm like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm like, fantastic. That's fantastic. And my first question to you is, what are you going to do? And what we have found over and over again is that people get stopped before they even start progress. They get stopped before they even begin. You know, the commonality in, in healthcare or in, in the gym and spa um, business is that it was like 75, 80% of people after they've said, listen, this is going to be my year starting on January 1st. It's going to be my year. I am going to, I'm going to crush it this year. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to get a gym pass. I'm going to be a member. This one would do. It's going to be my best year. I'm going to just going to rock when I'm there. And they find that within 60 days, like 75, 80% of people stop going. Well, why is that? Well, we think it's because of a, of a number of reasons. And one is that they, they don't know what to do. That that's not enough. It's a start, but it's not enough. So we're going to start with you in, in this called doing longevity. What are the things that, we, that are, are reasonable, effective, and cost-effective? What are the reasonable effective and cost-effective things that you can start implementing tonight, today. And you're going to hear say many, many times, PDC, PDC. One, plan. Two, discipline. Discipline is putting the plan into a physicality, putting it into place. And three is consistency, doing it, repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. So we're going to start off with this is, is, is it effective? Is the cost effective? Is it reasonable? So as we go through all this doing longevity, there's a term I want you to just understand and really implement, and that is your vision of longevity. Do you plan on being around in your 90s and rocking? Do you plan on being reaching that golden number of 100? Do you plan on rocking into 110? And some of you are like, dude, are you kidding me? I have, I'm just, I, this is all brand. We need to start with a vision of getting there. Costs nothing to do, by the way. Costs nothing to do. As, as we have uh, reported on uh, the book by Becca Levy, Dr. Becca Levy, on her book, uh, Breaking the Age Code. Good book. I, I recommend you reading it. And she talks about how this, this vision alone, that mindset can add seven and a half years of quality years onto your life. Great start. So let's start with this. What are three things that are reasonable, effective, and cost-effective that you can start doing tonight? And by the way, you may not get the benefits from them right away because some of them are going to be brand new for you to do them correctly. And that's, that's the wild part. You are have to start doing them correctly. And the first is this, simple, simple, simple. Sleep. 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 I ask all of our new patients who start with this, how's your sleep? Most people say it's good. Is it good? Is it quality and quantity? That seven hour number. It's just, it's been shown so often. Um, on our library, we talk about uh, why we sleep by Matthew Walker. It's, it's right there. Why we sleep by Matthew Walker. And you cannot make this sleep up. You're going to try on weekends to make it up. 
but it doesn't help. It, it helps, but it, it's not as effective as reaching that seven hours of quality sleep every single night. So the first thing we're going to have you start doing is not only regimenting the time you wake up and setting a, a alarm for the time to get up. We need to start setting an alarm for when you go to bed. Absolutely fundamental. If you're at my house, you know that 10 o'clock, don't bother contacting me. Why? Boom. That's my time. I'm in bed. I've said, you know, I, I brushed my teeth, said my prayers and took my Hulk Hogan vitamins and I'm, I'm done. I'm in bed. Five o'clock, 530 is when I'm up. So I'm getting my seven, seven and a half hours of sleep. One of the simplest things, effective, cost effective and reasonable thing for you to do is start with a regimented sleep pattern. You've heard me talk about this before, and it, it amazes me that we are so regimented with babies, with the newborns. Oh, no, 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 no. The baby sleep and sh- everybody be quiet. We need, the ba- we need to get the baby down. We need the baby to sleep. But as adults, we bypass that and say, well, I'm going to watch that much more of the game. I'm going to watch the movie. Uh, I'll sleep when I'm dead. But, <laughs> but by missing the sleep, you are rocketing yourself to fulfilling that of being dead quicker. And so sleep is absolutely number one, effective, cost-effective, and reasonable. That's seven and a half hours. Uh, I, don't, I don't drink. And what we have found is that uh, studies show that actually drinking before sleep disrupts your sleep, disrupts the deep sleep. It makes, it sedates you, but doesn't help you to sleep better. So what do you do? You start off with a plan. And the plan is I'm going to be in bed. So if I'm going to be in bed by 10, that means I need to go back an hour and start working my way to that. That means I write my notes. If you know me at all, I have notes all around that I have for plans of stuff I'm going to do the next day. I start with brushing my teeth, getting my clothes ready. Um, Again, saying my prayers, taking my Hulk Hogan vitamins, doing all that so that by the time 10 o'clock hits, I'm boom, I'm already in bed. So it takes a plan. And two, the discipline of following up. And three, the consistency of following through. We'll talk more about this. Number two is water. It's the hydration. Americans are so chronically dehydrated. It is criminal. The worst thing about it is it's my water bottle. Oh, water bottle's over there. Um, it's simple. It's so simple. And you, you are 70% water. And it's effective. It's cost effective. And it's reasonable to do. <laughs> and so I drink two big glasses of water very first thing in the morning. Very first thing in the morning, I get up, bam, two big glasses of water. I make sure I have I have a big a container of water. I have a big bottle of water I have at my office. And I drink at least one of those, probably two a day. I make sure I'm hydrated. But Otto, um, I end up going to the bath. Yes, of course you will. Great. Keep the pipes clean. Make sure they're working correctly. It's effective. And dude, it's free. It's You're paying for it anyways. We have great water here in central New York, so we don't have to worry about uh, uh, having bad water. But it's effective. You are hydrated. You are supposed to be hydrated. And if we watch seniors, especially seniors, who are confused, who don't digest well, don't sleep well, one of the simplest things we can do for them is get them hydrated. Hydrated. Uh, one of the simplest things that the uh, U.S. Army has found is that on the urinals for men, or urinals for women, the urinals, they have color-coded. And they say, if your pee looks like this, then you need to drink more water. Simple, simple stuff. You know, if your pee is, if your urine is dark yellow, you, my friend, are massively dehydrated. You want to be literally clear or slightly yellow. That tells us that you're drinking enough water. So one, you have a plan. So your plan is for tomorrow morning, get up and drink two glasses of water. And then to fulfill your water drinking during the day. 
uh, on weekends, Saturday and Sundays, I, I call it drinking, drinking a, cu- a cucumber. I drink a cucumber. I take a cucumber, slice it all up, put it into a big jug of cold water. Uh, and I drink that during the day. And that's my thing to drink. And my goal is to drink that before seven o'clock at night. Simple, very, very simple. And by the way, I'm hoping that none of this is, is rocket surgery to you. I'm really hoping it's not rocket surgery to you. Um, but we don't know where to start. So let's start with the things that are effective, cost effective. None of those things, none of these first two things cost any money to do. You, their water's already there. And two, your, your sleeping is already there. Effective, cost effective, and reasonable. And the third one is this, is you're, you're going to be going to the grocery store anyways to buy foods. So we're going to ask you to start upping your green intake your green intake. And I'm going to highly recommend you become friends with arugula, baby kale, um, Swiss chards, and collard greens. I'm a big spinach fan also. Those fives. I make my salads out of those guys. I may have a base of the the spring mixes or summer mixes. I may have a base of that, but I add all of those into my salad also. I try to make my salads as colorful as possible. And I try, and I, you know, I just don't have like iceberg lettuces in my, my salads anymore. Cause there's so many other ones that are the, the new arugulas they have now are, are spicy and they're, they're awesome. You're going to be buying the food anyways. So why not, kick it up. What I do on the weekends is on Sundays, I'll buy those or Saturdays or Sundays. I buy those and I take them and I put them into a big, big bag or a big, big bin. And that's my supply for the week. In the morning, I get up, boom, or at nighttime, I get up and I put them in a baggie or in a, uh, a glass container. And I take it to work. Make it simple. Expand your you're, uh, you're walking through the produce section of the grocery store, learn different stuff. It's going to help you tremendously because we'll be pushing you to learn more, more foods and more spices as we go along in your longevity. So why not start taking this easy steps now? Effective, cost-effective, and reasonable. So again, let's review these. Number one is this, sleep. You're going to start making a plan of not only when you get up, but when you go to bed a plan on that. The discipline in that is following through on that plan is the physicality of putting the plan into motion. And the third part is consistency is repeating the discipline. So number one is asleep. Number two is agua, getting the water intake that you need. Many, many people are dehydrated. Many people are dehydrated. And the biggest time to be dehydrated is not the summertime, ironically, it's actually the wintertime. Uh, if you look at hospitals, hospitals will tell you that more um, kidney stones happen in the wintertime than they do in the summertime because we're dehydrated. And the third part is making green your new friend when you're eating. It's quite frankly less expensive for you, goes a much longer way, and the bang for the buck is tremendous. Tremendous. This is part one of doing longevity, of doing longevity. We're going to push you, promote you, and help sometimes kick in the ass along the way. But let's start with the things that are effective, cost effective, and reasonable. We start implementing these simple, simple things. Uh, and we can really take the, a big, big step. Small steps now lead to big steps later on in our own longevity. Guys, if you ever have any questions, always feel free to message me, Otto, O-T-T-O, at EmpireLongevity.com. I'm here for you. Expect weekly, we expect weekly either written letters, uh, white papers, uh, audio. Sometimes I like to do some audios for you or videos like this. Let's push your longevity every week just that much more. Look forward to hearing from you. Let's take that one step. Let's do longevity. Thank you.